So, how to construct a frequency distribution for quantitative variable using Excel? So, given the data file audit, you will have this data set. So, that is from A2 to A21. Now, we will construct a frequency distribution using a pivot table. So, how to create a pivot table? Simply select any value from your data set. And then click on insert in the tables group click on pivot table and then you will be prompted with this dialog box you can just simply click ok and you will be taken to a new sheet next is you have to add values to your pivot table so you drag this audit time towards your rows area and you drag still the audit time towards your values area now as you may notice it says sum of audit time now what we are looking for is the frequency so frequency is how many times does that value or does that data appear so it is counting it is not the sum but rather the count so how to change it to count of audit time so you simply click the sum of audit time in the values area and then click value field settings next you will see in one of the options that there is a count there so you click on that and then click on ok so as you may have not noticed it changed from sum to count so this is already the frequency so there is one number 12 214 215 and so on now since we are dealing with quantitative data so we can group those data into classes how do we do that you can select again any value from this data set and you right click find for group and then click it you be prompted with this dialog box initially what is given is the lowest value for starting at and the highest value for the ending at if there is no specified starting and ending value just use the default so that is the default the lowest and the highest value those are the default values but let's try to change that so let's try to make use of 10 and instead of 33 let's use 34 now for the buy value the amount or the value that you will input in that is the class width again for the buy value the amount you will input is the class width so for instance our class width is 5 so you will simply click ok and as you have noticed, your row labels were already grouped into classes. So that's from 10 to 14, 15 to 19, and so on. So this is your frequency distribution table for a quantitative variable.